So we'll talk about um, resolution and output and also um, uh, how to export, right? So, so grease pencil and blender in general, it's the same process, all right? So we'll go here on our render engine first, okay? So you have three render engines uh, in, um, in Blender. Uh, EV is the real-time one, and it's what we use for uh, Grease Pencil. You have Workbench for uh, no frills rendering, so very basic. And then Cycles is the most realistic. Uh, it's a realistic render. It has global illumination. It has a lot of things that are um, uh, set up for kind of realistic render, okay? so. We uh, on Grease Pencil we don't have a choice. Um, EV is uh, the default one, okay. And if you're in uh, EV and doing 3D, these are the things you need to check. All right, so you need to make sure that ambient occlusion is on. Bloom, if it's helping you with your lighting, if let's say you have some neon lights, kind of like a little bit of glow. All right, uh, not necessarily uh, you'll want that, but you know, check if you need it. And then screen space reflection. All right, everything else here, you know, you can check on shadows, high bit depth. Anyway, uh, yeah. So these are the things that you kind of need to check when you proceed with render. If you're doing 3D, if you're just doing 2D, just kind of leave it alone. All right. So the next tab after that is your output tab. Your output tab is simply uh, the location for what do you want to export what is the size okay so uh, by default 1920 by 1080 is the uh, resolution that uh, you export in blender without touching anything okay and then it has an aspect ratio here of one to one so if you're not familiar with aspect ratio and you just want to just kind of use the default setting just leave this alone because uh, all the uh, resolutions that are here are 16 by 9 in aspect ratio Okay, so let's talk about size first. So HD, right? 1920 by 1080. So this is full HD right here, the green one. Okay, so it's 16 parts this way, nine parts this way. Horizontal is 16, nine parts vertical, right? So the resolution for it is 1920 by 1080. Okay, these are the vertical numbers, folks. Okay, even though... Um, yeah, and these are the horizontal numbers. So that's why when you export using just uh, the default in Blender, you get 1920 by 1080. If you change that, then, of course, uh, if you type in whatever random numbers here, um, uh, that's what you'll get, okay? So let's talk about the, uh, these are the kind of TV video resolutions that are kind of standard. So we start with uh, SD. You can, uh, no, uh, you can, uh, go with 720 by 480 on this 720 by 576 depending on the flavor but if you're just talking let's say dv 720 by 480 and then uh we jump to full hd which is 1920 by 1080 and then right now uh what we're using for your tv is 3840 by 2160 aka 4k uh, but it's not really 4k because it's only 3840 it never made it to 4000 so for legal issues, they call it also Ultra HD, so they don't get sued. The real 4K resolution that's used for film, it's 4096 by 2160. So it's a little bit wider, okay? So uh, it has, uh, of course, the aspect ratio changed then. And then, of course, finally, 8K, 7680 by 4320. When you actually do this, if I click on zero on the numpad right now, and this is what you're seeing, right? This is what's going to be captured on camera. If you capture a 1920 by 1080, this is still what's going to be captured. Your capture doesn't get any bigger. The resolution of what you're trying to export is the one that changes, okay? So for our project, we're just using the default 1920 by 1080, just full HD. So I'm going to go back to zero here so it kind of shows you this image right here, okay? So if I record here now uh, and render, I'm going to go render, render image, okay? It's going to process that one, and then it's going to give me, um, oh, I don't have an object, sorry. Let me uh, get an object here. Let's get a monkey. All right, there's our monkey. 
All right, and then if I press zero, what the camera's seeing, maybe that's too big for a monkey, right there. And if we render at 1920 by 1080. All right, there's the monkey right there, and that's the size, and this is 1920 by 1080. Now let's say we want to change to uh, 4K, right? We want to jump our resolution to 4K. So you can do the math uh, by simply uh, uh, multiplying this by 2. So if I do asterisk 2 and enter, you get the 3840, and then you have to do the same thing for the vertical part, so times 2. So 3840 by 2160. Okay, so as you can see, it did not change the framing. The framing is exactly the same as 1920 by 10, uh, 1080. It just grew in resolution. So if I click this render image, there we go. It's just a much bigger output. And you can already imagine if I times two this, you'll get 8K resolution. Okay, so by default, uh, for your project, we're just using HD, so this is just 1920 by 1080. All right, so sticking to the, uh, oops. All right, so again, this is what we're rendering here. And as you can see here, by just kind of eyeballing it, you can kind of tell that full HD uh, versus 4K, you need four of these, like a quadrant, in order to get, 4k resolution of course it gets more ridiculous when it comes to 8k you need four 4k to fill in the resolution of 8k okay so the other things that we need to look for when we're outputting or exporting into a movie or a still okay uh, is the 100 percent render right here so the 100 percent render simply means you are rendering 1920 by 1080 at 100 percent why would you not want to render at 100 percent when you're testing okay so sometimes you just want a quick render you just want to render 25 percent you just want to see the color or light you don't want to wait like an hour for a render then you can change that so let's do a real quick render first of uh, of the monkey right here render image this is at 100 percent at 1920 by 1080 so if i change that to let's say 25 percent it will then render just 25 percent of 1920 by 1080 so uh, you might Probably not going to do this for, there you go, versus the one where it used to fill this up. Okay, so make sure when you render, this is always at 100% for your final output. Okay, aspect ratio, it simply means what is the ratio of horizontal versus vertical. This is a storytelling uh, tool that you can use uh, in order to uh, showcase uh, your visuals, right? So Jurassic Park has a particular... Uh, aspect ratio jaws the movie has a particular aspect ratio depending on what the director wanted to tell uh you know what kind of story they want to tell or what kind of visual they want to okay um so we're just going to leave this everything as default and if you want to again record in 4k you can change those numbers so going to the frame range so frame one and uh, frame start and frame end simply it means what do you want to render in the timeline so if you only want to render 1 to 100 then you type in your end as 100 if you want this 10,000 frames then you do 10,000 frames so on and so forth and then that's how blender knows what is the range that you want to render in your timeline all right so let's put that back to 250 stepping also uh, if you want it's kind of like padding so leave that as one uh, let's not talk about that for now uh, okay uh, time stretching also just worry about start and end all right so just at least we can get your uh, project going St um, stereo right here for if you want to do vr and whatnot so ignore that also so basically frame range is what matters and then output okay so for the output uh, let's skip the uh, location first and the name uh, file extension is changed let's just go with file format okay so what you want is a video okay if you pick PNG or JPEG, that means you want to uh, render a uh, uh, still file or sequential file, meaning one, let's say one JPEG or multiple JPEGs, okay? So what we want for our project is MPEG video right here, okay? Leave that to RGB. We go to encoding here. The container you want to do QuickTime. Why are we using QuickTime? Because 
QuickTime and MOV, it previews in MS Teams. So every other thing here, uh, MP4 also previews, but let's just stick with QuickTime. Okay, so after you change your container to QuickTime, you can go here with Video Codec. Um, we're using H.264 because we're not going to be editing this uh, output there, you know, for, there for consumption. We're just going to watch them. Okay, so I'll change your video codec to H.264 if it's not set to that. Your output changes to high quality. We're rendering really short uh, animation, so it's not really going to uh, matter much regarding the size. Okay, then we leave everything by default. Okay, so we're just changing output quality to high quality. Make sure your codec states that 264, your container is QuickTime, and your file format is MPEG video right here. Next step, where do you want to save this? So you click this little uh, folder right here, okay? And then I can just go to my desktop and click Accept, and as you can see, the output goes in there right now, okay? So let's say I wanted to... Uh, um, give this a name so I'm just gonna call this one monkey animation okay and let's do a quick animation of the monkey right here so I'm just going to uh, go to frame one scale up uh, scale this guy right here scale and then we go to frame 100 all right so we just kind of animated that one go in uh, getting bigger okay and I'm gonna change my frames here we're gonna end it at 110 okay so um, and that's it all we have to do now is go to render up here and then render animation and blender now will get to work rendering those it looks like you're uh, seeing it one picture at a time because it is because after this one since we our container is QuickTime, it's going to stitch it all together into a movie file. Okay, so it's almost done. And when this is done, it'll be ready, waiting for us in your uh, file explorer or Finder if you're using a Mac. All right, so there it is. And always save your file once you put all the settings because if you don't save your file, you lose all the settings right here. You have to put them. Uh, in there again okay so 110 if I go to here all right to my desktop there it is monkey animation and there's your movie file okay so that's how we export uh, in blender whether it's in grease pencil or in uh, in blender 3d uh, that's the output how to export into a movie file using QuickTime okay because if you don't like QuickTime you can go with AVI you can go to with uh, MP4 you can do MKV we just don't recommend them for class because they do not preview in MS Teams Oops.